Guys, welcome back to our Hungry Adventures. Today, we are going to hop on a train taking us from the bustling capital city of Indonesia, Jakarta, to the charming cultural hub of Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta, often referred as Jogja, is a treasure for all Indonesia visitors. Home to many ancient temples and a lively street culture, this city is well known for its mouth-watering street food, unique local drinks, and the friendliness of local people. The city's population is only 400,000 people, but due to its location and historical heritage, it is extremely popular with local tourists. However, not with foreign travelers, which makes me think this trip is going to be really exciting. And we begin this journey with visiting one of the largest, probably the largest Hindu temple complex in Indonesia and the second largest in Southeast Asia after Angkor Wat, which is pretty exciting. Hello. Yeah, 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 me, 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 Miki. Going to Prambaran? Yes. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah, ready. Heavy man, heavy man. <laughs> At first I wanted to rent a motorbike here and drive on my own. However, uh, traffic in Yogyakarta is quite hectic and pretty intense. And I don't want to risk my health because I still want to reach volcanoes, which is why we will be using Grab again. Besides, it's not really, not really expensive. Okay, okay, here, okay. Yeah, I can walk. Very exciting ride. Time to find the entrance for people. <laughs> Excuse me, a ticket, ticket. Over there. Okay, Telemakas. It's nice that uh, even though I don't speak Indonesian, I don't speak Bahasa, uh, you ask people in English and they un understand what do you want, they show you direction, they even recommend you something. So even though you don't speak local language, you are still enjoying the trip. <laughs> Who said that everything has got to be comfortable? No, you got to step out of your comfort zone to enjoy it the most. Yeah, this is definitely a very popular tourist attraction. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> and it's a weekday, it's not even a weekend. What's happening here on weekend? Hello. Yeah. How much is the ticket for foreigner? 360 to 400 rupiah. Again? 300. 300. 500 rupiah. 362. Uh huh. Okay. Is it allowed to make video with camera? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. For foreign, this way, sir. On the opposite side. Right there. Three hundred sixty thousand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Much quieter. Hello. Yeah. I want one ticket. For me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Only here? Only here, yes. Only one place. No visit? Uh, no visit. Only, only here. Yeah. 362,500 Indonesian rupees, which is around 25 dollars US and around what, 850 Thai baht. <laughs> Pretty high price for the ticket for, uh, for a tourist attraction. Probably it is 
the highest and the most expensive ticket I've ever purchased uh, for my 11 years or 12 years living in Asia. Um, but all right, <laughs> as I said before, rules are rules. Probably this place is really magnificent. Let's check it out. Prambanan Temple is a true architectural masterpiece with a history dating back over a thousand years. Every meter of this temple is a work of art showcasing the exceptional craftsmanship of the ancient Javanese people. Prambanan Temple is dedicated to the three main Hindu gods Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. It is believed that the temples were constructed to honor the gods and depict epic Hindu legends. It is the largest Hindu temple complex in Indonesia and the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which attracts lots of visitors, but mostly locals. As we wander through the complex, we encounter numerous temples dedicated to Hindu gods and numerous ancient carvings depicting tales from Hindu mythology, reflecting the rich cultural heritage and spiritual beliefs of the ancient Java. Another incredible aspect of visiting Prambanan Temple is experiencing the vibrant cultural performances that transport you back in time, immersing you in the rich traditions of Java. In 2006, Prambanan Temple and its surrounding area were struck by a powerful earthquake, which caused significant damage to the temple complex, with many buildings and statues collapsing or suffering severe damage. Extensive efforts were undertaken to restore and preserve the Prambanan Temple complex. However, the works are still in progress, and there are still the tons of stones lying on the ground around the main temple structures. And now we can only imagine how stunning it used to look like before the earthquake in 2006. No, no, thank you. <laughs> no, no. Police will arrest me in the airport. Terimakas, terimakas, terimakas. What's it like? Blow, blow rifle. All right. Hungry face, hungry face. And if you want to find exit, <laughs> hello, you need to walk through this long corridor with souvenirs, bags, like real market, and some fruits, which looks like sala, uh, the snake skin or snake head fruit. Satu <laughs> berapa? Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand for one. Uh, I want just one. Salak <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, I live in Thailand, and in Thailand, name Salah. So al almost, almost the same. Looks like snake, snake skin. I tried it a couple of times in Thailand, and. It's supposed to be extremely sweet. Yeah, but this one is also sour and very, very strong taste. You can't mix it with anything. It's like something between durian, strawberry, garlic, and a couple other ingredients which are just indescribable. Are fresh and delicious though. Okay, sate kambing, so this is goat, lamb, and it bear.
one of the most fascinating things about traveling in Indonesia is that you here you can try goat meat, lamb, here you can try beef almost at every corner, almost at every restaurant, which is amazing. In Thailand you usually eat chicken or pork and just sometimes beef, yeah. But here beef, lamb and chicken are major. You know, you know why obviously. But here I eat beef almost every day. So tasty. They really know how to cook it here. Finally, my favorite part of adventures. <laughs> Five skewers with goat meat and a plate of rice. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really good. It's tender, it's sweet, it's juicy. It is like it's supposed to be. Mm. Very tasty. Terima kasih. Okay. Thirty six. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih. <laughs> We are back to the city, to the iconic street called Marlboro Street, which sounds almost like a very popular brand of cigarettes. I don't know, do they have something in common or not? But this is the Marlboro Street. It is the place where all local and tourists come to spend their time with friends. Here we can find some street food. There are many horses here, horses carriages, so you can take a ride around <laughs> with this traffic jam but also here we can taste a very authentic local drink called uh, Kopi Jos which is literally coffee with uh, burning charcoal inside sounds pretty interesting uh, so <laughs> I can't leave this city without, without trying uh, Kopi Jos and there are many 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 people here <laughs> Java the most heavily populated islands in the world with 150 million people living here so don't be surprised let's learn a couple new words no can toot no can toot no can toot <laughs> also for some reason it is a little bit dark in the evening time i've noticed it in jakarta uh, in here, in Jog, uh, Jogjakarta, it's a little bit dark too. Maybe it's normal for Indonesia. It just is slightly unusual that there are not that many poles with lights, so uh, it's a little bit dark. However, okay. However, it is absolutely normal for locals. So probably it's just my thing. I'm not used to. Uh, to the darkness. <laughs> okay, okay, can take picture. Satu, dua. Nah, nah, nah. You know, I don't mind. But there are so many people, so if I will be, if I will be taking picture with every person and quite many people ask for it. <laughs> video, video, okay, video, video. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Thank you. 
to meet you, Hoa. Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that when you're crossing the road and there is no sidewalk, you gotta just point your hand and then give a thumbs up to, uh, to the driver. Seems like it is working. All right. Where is our the most delicious coffee? And check out this bike. This is Yamaha. We don't have this model in Thailand, if I remember right. I don't even know what model is this, but it looks pretty. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know why I feel so scary. <laughs> but you look amazing. You look amazing. He don't even ask for money or anything like it. Wow, because I don't see any head or cup, where can I give him some tip? But he looks amazing. Ah, okay. Now I can see, now I can see. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. You look amazing, amazing. Wow. Amazing, really. <laughs> wow, that's a nice motorbike. <laughs> Suzuki, Suzuki. One motorbike taxi can handle two person. Very smart and comfortable. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Be careful. <laughs> Eyes on the road. What? Vlog. Vlog. Ah, vlog. Vlog. Mickey. Chakap, 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 chakap. You too. Beautiful, not handsome. Thank you. Chakap, chakap. Ah, okay. M I C K E Y S T O T C H. Okay. Thank you. Telemakas, telemakas. Lovely. They are so friendly. So friendly people here and excited to see a foreigner. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Mister, mister. Hello, mister. This is the place with delicious coffee. And even though it is late, I can try. Hello. Hello. Coffee Joss, coffee Joss okay. yeah. <laughs> Just one, yeah. If two cannot sleep. <laughs> yeah, sugar. Last sugar, no sugar. Uh, a little bit? Yes. A little bit sugar? Yes. Little. Yeah, okay. little, a little. What else they got? Deep fried vegetables in dough. I forgot the name of it. There's eggs, meatballs, and some other stuff. Bing! Okay. <laughs> Tring! <laughs> it's up really, really good. <laughs> Okay. How to drink it? Yes. How to drink it? Wow. 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 Spectacular. Spectacular, yes. yes. <laughs> Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spectacular. Yeah. Coffee Joss. Coffee Joss. Yeah. <laughs> Real charcoal inside. Yeah. Very hot, very hot. <laughs> very hot. I asked for a piece of ice so that I can try it as soon as possible. But I'm really curious what taste it has. Coffee with charcoal inside. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, you don't have to eat charcoal, I think. You know, uh, there is nothing like, extraordinary, but the taste is very mild. It is believed that uh, this charcoal is reducing the acidity of coffee. It's funny, it's interesting, but I'm really curious. How did they invent this method of uh, drinking coffee? <laughs> Hello. Hello, coffee, coffee Hello. just, coffee just. 60, 6,000, okay. <laughs> It's got not 60. Thermacas, oh. <laughs> no, no. okay, thank, thank you, thank you. Cheers, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Lucia. <laughs> uh, three days. Three days. Yeah. Uh, yes. Surabaya. Surabaya. Okay. Okay. I not I not speaking speaking English. You know beautiful. Beautiful, you know? You are beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Thank, <laughs> you. thank you. Okay, Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's actually even even funnier that I can speak local local language and that people don't speak English. It's like real non-verbal communication. <laughs> All right, food. Where is my street food? Bon bon dim sum. Enak? Enak? Okay. It seems like people are waiting for something. But waiting for what exactly? What a mystery. <laughs> Honestly, don't understand what is happening. Hello. Can I try bakso? Okay. Bakso is like uh, soup with noodles and beef meatballs, right? Okay. <laughs> Guys, bakso it is one of the most recommended menu for everyone coming to Jogjakarta and to Indonesia uh, too. It is a soup with noodles, with meat, beef meatballs. Sometimes it is served with uh, bone marrow. Uh, but even without bone marrow, it is tasty. I think so.
So let's try. What are these things? Meatballs covered with some tofu. Tastes like tofu. Interesting, very interesting. And meatballs, of course. Beef meatballs. It is good. It is really good. And not expensive, just 20,000 Indonesian rupees. 28,000 for this combo. Bakso and nak. Very exciting street. It's 8 p.m. and still full of people on a weekday, not on weekend. Very interesting vibe here, the atmosphere. I wouldn't say it is some uh, festival or holiday atmosphere. It's just like, for some reason, everyone decided to go out of their apartments, of their houses, and just stroll along this street. Interesting. Just like feeling of a new year or something. <laughs> really cool. Some desserts with durian. I just must try Indonesian durian. I mean, at least some desserts. Many desserts with durian or with other fruits. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I try something with durian? Yes. Ice, Ice durian. Ice. Okay, okay. Uh, S durian. 12. 12. 12. Okay. Terima kasih, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Satu. S durian. All right, so the recipe is simple. Some ice, some syrup, and durian, of course. Very crunchy durian. The smell is pretty strong, but it is delicious. Quite unusual, let me try again. The texture is just like something between pineapple and guava. And the price is only 12,000 ringgit, which is around 25 Thai baht. Delicious durian with ice. Really curious why there are so many, so many horses here, so many horse carriages. It's not like three, four horses. I don't know. <laughs> around 50, 60 probably. Maybe up to 100. What is the history uh, behind this situation with horses? Hello, sir. Vedang Gronde. Vedang Gronde. Satu balapa. I wish I knew. <laughs> 10,000. Okay. I want to try one. So it's like a local dessert, oh, yeah. peanuts, some fruits, some jelly, and dried breads, or maybe not. Interesting. Oh, so many customers. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good? Okay, okay. I never tried. That's ginger, that's ginger. <laughs> that kicks you in the head just instantly. <laughs> wow, that's real ginger. Mm. And ginger is one of my favorite things in life. I mean, ginger drinks. Ah, <sighs> uh, wow. That's freaking awesome. These are some, some fruits. Uh, <laughs> of course, I don't know what, what are these fruits. But like I mentioned previously, you're in Southeast Asia. You just need to mix it up, stir and try. And if you love it, then just eat it. Feels like 
tapioca balls, tapioca flower balls. Ginger is absolutely amazing. Wow. PM. It's already 9 p.m. <laughs> and yet this place is even more crowded than three hours ago. Jogja never sleeps. <laughs> At least it seems to me Jogja never sleeps. Wow, so many people. Hello. Can I try good deck? Good deck satu. Okay. Oh, good deck enak enak. Okay. <laughs> I am. I am. Okay with chicken or with egg. Good egg is a very local dish, really from central Java. And some people say it is, it comes from uh, Jogjakarta. So what is it? Uh, if you know a fruit, jackfruit, so this is stew. They take uh, unripe jackfruit and then stew it for several hours till it will be ready. Uh, and they cook it together with palm sugar and coconut milk, if I understand it correctly. So the lady offered me two options with egg or with chicken. I've chosen with chicken because uh, I, need, I prefer not to eat seafood in eggs uh, late, late in the evening for some obvious reasons. Let's try this. Is this the jackfruit stew? Oh! Mm, it's so tender, it's like dessert. Really, it's like a dessert. But you don't feel this sweetness of, uh, of sugar. This is a real sweetness coming from coconut milk and from jackfruit itself, probably. Wow! Very, very soft, very tender texture. What is this jelly? Something very spicy. Something that that melts in your mouth immediately. Okay, let's try all together a piece of stew, piece of this jelly, chicken and rice. The chicken is great, real chicken, real meat, natural. And this coconut aftertaste without crazy sweetness. And this place seems to be quite popular. Real nice. And the price is only 35,000 rupees with free tea. Mm. Hook, hook. No, I can't go through. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm full. We had a lot of interesting food and interesting street food today, and many lovely communications with locals. It was really fun. Jogjakarta was a really nice city, especially this area. So much energy here. Tomorrow I continue my journey on a train to Surabaya. I continue my journey to the East Java because the main target of this trip is meeting with volcanoes located in East Java. But I can't miss Surabaya because it's a very interesting city. It's just a few hours away on a train. So there will be something else. I'll film something in Surabaya. Uh, if you are still watching this episode, if you have enjoyed this episode, then hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Feel free to judge me in the comments because nothing makes me feel better <laughs> than certain people judging me for, for some innocent jokes, for my facial expressions. Yeah, I just can't live without it. So yeah, please, please write it, write it all in the comments. And I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon, somewhere else in beautiful Indonesia. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mata berisak ngeleduk. <laughs>